Hi, this is Bobby Tewksbury with TewksHitting.com, and we're here with My Swing Episode 5, and I'm very excited to have our first softball player. We have Cami, who is a 12-year-old from Nebraska. Um, we've had a lot of baseball submissions, and I think the information is very important for softball players as well. And I actually have a pretty strong following from college softball community, so softball players, please send your stuff in. Send your videos in. Let's get you involved as well. So <clears throat> we're going to let this video play a little bit. Um, 12 years old, seems to have a pretty stable um, swing, I guess, where, you know, she's pretty balanced, finishes the swing way more than I see most softball players. I see a lot of younger softball players who, who kind of stop their swing, don't turn their body very far. They'll get, to, they'll get like halfway to contact and then shut down their body. Um, but we've got a lot of... A lot of uh, good athletic movement, some, some good um, hip extension that we talked about with one of the other my swings where the player wasn't getting good hip extension. So we've got some good lower body actions, um, aggressive finishes. We do the uh, uh, back to home plate drill where we finish with the back facing home plate. A lot of softball players who finish and you cannot see their back when they finish their swing. So that's a good cue. Um, there, there's a huge tendency in the softball world to just try to make contact and a lot of girls I feel like are concerned primarily with just hitting the ball and you know we could we could get into details about that and different aspects of it but it's just a tendency that I see and I feel like that's pretty a pretty common thing among softball players so in general softball players can probably afford to be more aggressive try to impact the ball I had a group in yesterday where we did uh, ball exit speed testing and just had a radar gun behind the hitter and have, had him hit and did a little competition. It was amazing how much they started trying to drive the ball. So, Cami, first thing, I really like how you're, you're driving and getting explosive with the lower half. I want to bring in the uh, comments, strengths and weaknesses. So 12 years old, naturally righty, which is interesting, and has been slapping. So I would imagine she's a pretty good athlete, pretty good speed, which would explain some of that drive and... Um, good hip extension with the lower body. Um, decides she wants to hit and not slap, and it's been working on a lefty swing. So, uh, comment of like the lower half action, but not so sure about the upper half, mainly her hands. And this has been really cool so far. I mean, we're only five episodes in, but the the self reporting has been pretty accurate. It, it, most people are are seeing what I'm seeing, and then the issue is, you know, how to fix it. What what do you address? How do you address it? So. Let's take a look <clears throat> a little closer at the upper half and what's going on. So um, we've got a, I guess I would say a spacing issue where the hands are, I mean, they're definitely starting to come forward too early where they're, they're almost starting to fire before that back knee gets turned. And again, the, the back knee for me is an indicator of pelvis direction. So it looks like the upper body's firing too soon. The, the sequence, the hips leading hand sequence is not really getting into place. There's some, it looks like some, and obviously the video is not perfectly clear. It doesn't always need to be, but there's like a, some break going on with that lead wrist where it kind of pushes out. There's some technical terms for it, but I'm not going to get into it. I'm just going to say she kind of pushes out that bottom wrist. So she's kind of leaking the bat towards the arc. So instead of this bat working back, she's pushing this wrist out and the bat is going to kind of cast as a result of that. She does get through the ball well. She finishes it nicely, which is great. So nice job with that, Cami. But there's more. We got some more. Um, and that's really what I'm seeing. We get that, that front arm is staying very low. And I see a, I see a lot of this where this, this front arm is really pointing down. Sometimes you get that the hands get even tighter to the shoulder, so this this kind of V with the arm gets even tighter. So I want to see this front arm work up. The back arm seems to be in a good place, but we, we need to get this wrist under control um, so that you're not pushing this bat and kind of casting it out into the zone too early. Um, get you more, more lag, get you some more power, and we've talked about the resistance and getting some more control of your timing. So, got a couple hitters. First one we're going to look at is Lou Gehrig. 
So I wanted to go with some lefties. And now this is one of my favorite clips. The title of it gives it away. I hope you didn't see that. But check this clip out. So this is, you know, one of the best lefty hitters of all time with some big actions. Now, this is a clip that I love to use because it's extremely visual. You can really see the movements. A lot of the times with the more subtle action, it can be hard to see, hard to, hard to grasp what's happening. But with this clip, and it's amazing that they had this, the high-speed slow motion video back then, but watch how much that left arm is getting up and the back arm is down and you can see the spacing. You can see that this wrist hasn't pushed the bat into the arc yet. And I'm going to kind of just play this through. So that's about where you're landing. Maybe that's more fair in terms of getting the heel closer to the ground. But look at your positioning and how much you've started versus Gehrig where he's landing and his hands are still way back. This is such a good example of, of loading into depth, into plane, into a more inside path. Um, I don't know if there's a better example of it. But, and then the beauty of it is that he doesn't even swing. Most, time, most of the time I'll kind of trap kids and say, all right, check out the swing and I'll play it, I'll play it, I'll play it. You can see the hips opening, you can see the hands and barrel still working back. And you get to there, the position we like to call truth. And you just stop it there and you say, what do you think? What do you think? What do you like? What, what seems good? What seems bad? And then you show him that he doesn't even swing. So this is a, a great example of how we can take a pitch. So Cami, if you're taking a pitch where your hands are really coming forward before this foot lands, your take would have forward hand movement, the barrel coming forward too much getting away from your depth and not towards it or into it maybe a better word it's a different angle again of Gehrig and we can see some of those actions again yeah he's, he's striding out of the box um, I'm sure some people would pick up on that but again we can see we can see that that front arm even in this is up as high as his back shoulder where your front arm where his his arm is up you could see it over the shoulder. If we had a camera behind you, we would not be able to see any of this front arm. So that's something I want you to try to, to work on. Um, the last one I want to look at is Ken Griffey Jr. And I need to slide you over just a bit so we can get both of you in the frame. Um, Griffey, you're 12 years old, so you might not even uh, really appreciate Griffey, but... Um, when I was growing up, Griffey was the man. Griffey was, was, he was Griffey. He was junior. So, again, check out these actions. And this was an off-speed pitch, so there's some delay. But, again, sometimes the off-speed pitches can, can show the swing even better. It kind of exposes what's happening. And, again, we're going to see that, that lead arm way up. If we put Griffey up here. Throw Garrig down here, move him back a little bit, and then get you into that similar position with the lower body. So I'll make him a little smaller, and we can kind of see, kind of see what's going on with uh, with what's missing in your swing. So we got to get that front arm up a little bit, <clears throat> get these hips to lead a lead a bit better. I, and then that wrist again where you can see that you're kind of casting that bat out um, so we've got it let's keep going with this lower body action it looks strong it looks balanced and you do finish the swing really well but we got to start the swing better it's going to help you be quicker it's going to give you more power and um, I'm going to try to find out if you're a, a righty thrower or a lefty thrower I'm curious I would I would imagine you're a righty thrower you said you're a natural righty and sometimes when uh the dominant side of throwing can play a role in how the arms are used so i'm going to follow up with you on that and i'll try to include that in the post whether or not you're a lefty or righty thrower um
because you might not feel you might feel like you need to do too much with your front arm if it's your dominant arm so you're trying to kind of push the bat in and be strong with that lead arm instead of letting it be a little more passive and keeping it back longer so that's something that I'm going to I'm going to follow up with you about and and see what's going on with that so almost kept it under 10 minutes today I was trying to keep it under 10 but hopefully you guys don't mind that I'm I'm giving these a little bit more time and getting you guys as much information as possible. Kami, thank you so much for sending your video in. Other softball players, please, please submit. I want to get you, uh, all the softballers involved um, because this information is very, very powerful for the softball world as well. So, uh, again, thank you, Kami. Work on this lead arm. Work on that wrist. Um, keep driving with the lower body. Let's get some better sequence going and get you hitting the ball better. All right. Uh, my swing number five next one comes out on thursday um, please submit your swings i'll have the links included and if you guys have any questions comments let me know all right take care bye-bye